Hey, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Clint, the audio guy here, and I'm doing a mid-priced bookshelf uh, comparison in, at Extend Technologies, and I thought I'd show you. So, starting here from the right, this is the Kef LS50 Meta. Uh, this is a very uh, inert cabinet, uh, good sound staging, um, very detailed, uh, about 1600 bucks a pair. This is the latest uh, Meta version. Uh, next here we have Totem Acoustics uh, Bison Monitor. Uh, this is using a Morel woofer with a 3-inch voice coil on it and a 30 millimeter uh, silk dome tweeter. Uh, really high crossover parts. Uh, this is um, the best sound staging speaker in the group, in my opinion. Um, and I purchased a pair for myself for my theater. Um, Next, we have SVS's Ultra Bookshelf. Um, this is a six and a half inch class, so these two are five and a quarters. Now we move up to the six and a half inch, so you're going to get more bass, more impact. Um, these at $1,200 a pair in just about the best piano gloss I've seen, other than it being dusty right now. Um, the, um, this is my bang for the buck winner. Um, but They've also just recently announced a new one. So we're closing these out and they have a sale on them. I got another pair in stock new um, and this demo pair here that uh, you can get at a deal. Uh, next here we have Focal's uh, Vestia number, number one. Um, this is a new speaker from Focal made in France. It's a six and a half inch uh, woofer also. Um, magnetic grills. Um, they're using this uh, carbon material woofer, um, very detailed. Uh, it is front ported, so if there's an issue with, uh, like if you got to put it on an actual bookshelf or inside a piece of furniture, uh, it is front firing and front ported. Uh, details great, sound stage is great. Uh, not quite the weight in the bottom end as the SVS or another option I got up here. Um, here we have Revels Concerta 2 series. Uh, this is also six and a half inch. Uh, they're giving you a curved cabinet and piano gloss finishes. Uh, this one's offered in black and white. Um, but uh, they took everything off of the speaker that doesn't improve sound quality. And they don't release it until it's the favorite. So it's a nice neutral speaker. Uh, it's good off-axis as well. Uh, Revel's very good at uh, getting their off-axis response flat as well. Um, and uh, this is the least expensive speaker in the whole comparison. So these are $9.90 a pair, so just under a grand. Uh, then we have the JBL HDI 1600. This is their uh, satin gray oak finish. Uh, they've got magnetic grills. This is the most substantial speaker in the comparison here. Um, it's nice and heavy. Uh, it's using a true compression horn, so lots of detail, lots of output. And it's, it's pretty low sensitivity. It's the lowest of this group. So you want to have a good amplifier to power it. But um, it rewards you with the biggest sound of the whole group. Uh, this is a speaker, if you were blindfolded, you'd think you were listening to a floor stander. Uh, it's got quite a bit of bass. Uh, it just edges out the SVS here uh, in the bass department. And uh, both depth and uh, impact. So that's an awesome one. Uh, uh, to uh, listen to at right around two grand, just under two thousand dollars. So, this is our mid price group, and um, we've got lower price options and we've got higher price options. So, feel free to stop by Extend Technologies and check them out. Thanks for watching.